Good morning, Burroughs. I'm Myla Jackson, and today is September 19th in A Day. We're doing things a little differently this time. We have two amazing stories for you guys. One, including our Burrow Band's newest leader, Miss Rogers. about culture. I think it's about every kid feeling like they have a spot they belong, knowing that they have friends um, and that they're working hard but also having a good time. Um, I think it's about building relationships, uh, building musicianship skills, just all of the things. But in one short answer I would say culture. It's about culture. I would say there's about 80 something kids in the marching band. My concert band class has about 78 is on my roster. The orchestra class has about 40 something kids in it. So in total we're sitting at like a little bit over 120-ish instrumental music kids. So our show is called Madhouse. Um, and I would love to say that it's like this deep, elaborate um, kind of idea we have going on. However, for our first back on the field or in composition in a really long time, I really liked the idea of like how no one, none of these kids, except for a couple of seniors, knew what like a normal season would be like. But there was still all of this talk about, you know, getting back to normal, doing normal. But it was just kind of ironic because all of these kids have never done marching band. So it was like, what is normal? So I took that idea of what is normal and we're gonna basically show that through like a carnival-esque type of show, but almost like a creepy carnival. Right. So that's where Madhouse comes from. It's really just about like the chaos and chaotic and like really not knowing what normal is. Ben, hit it! A tremendous amount. Like, the amount that I feel like almost no one would believe me if I tried to explain it to them. And not just like in musicianship skills, we've like grown in numbers. Of course, musicianship skills, they understand what it means to just work hard now. Because like, we just got off of like these two years where we didn't have to do anything. It's basically pretty cool to just see a full functioning band without basically me having to, you know, play mom. Technically, it's not too late to join marching band. It would look a little bit different because um, we're already halfway through learning our show right now. So if you wanted to join marching band, um, it would be a bit of work. However, it'd be worth it. Regardless of that, we still do pet band, which is probably one of my favorite things we do here in the marching program. It's just more of a fun thing. Come out to the football games and cheer on the boroughs. Um, you can still join orchestra and you can still join concert band or win ensemble. We'll take those year round. But I'm really glad, and I would say thank you to all the seniors for still trying it, for still doing it. Um, for those that didn't quit during, when school was shut down, uh, thank you for those that came back and still believing in the Hillsborough Band Program. Through all the director changes, no school, a new school, um, just everything. Thank you guys for just sticking through it and for understanding that there is definitely something still here at Hillsborough within the instrumental music program. Um, and thank you guys for still believing in it. And then my goals for the seniors, same thing as the freshmen. I want you guys to remember Ben. I want you guys to be proud of this band. I want you guys to come back next year and be like, holy smokes, this band is much bigger and better. And to know that you guys were the ones that did that. And to know that when you come back in two or three or four years, that you guys were the pioneers for where this band goes. Don't be afraid to try something new. Um, come learn something, better yourself. Uh, it is a little silly uh, to be, you know, learning something every single day uh, and not take like a class that's a breath of fresh air where you're learning something new, something fun. So I would say don't be afraid to try something new. Um, come make some new friends. Uh, we party and we play music. So that's about it. Mm. All right. This is my outro music. Okay. And 
another about a recent video contest that our very own Dark Harvey placed second in. Let's take a look. Hello, Borneos. I'm Dark Harvey, and I'm so excited to say that I have my very own film called Instaban in the Franklin Film Festival. It's about a girl named Sydney who struggles with mental health and she discovers that maybe Instagram might not be the best for her. It's a really intimate play for me because I want to share my emotions and I hope you guys see it soon at the Franklin Film Fest. Thank you. No, really, you look upset. Mom, I'm struggling with bad thoughts. <coughs> Sydney Elizabeth Peters, what did you do? I'm so stressed. I saw my friends partying without me on social media. Well, that is no reason to destroy a family heirloom. But Mom, they banned me. Well, you're banned. Cut. No phone for two weeks. None. Come on, Mom. It's not just the class. I'm worried about you. You need a break from social media. Ugh. Everyone, don't forget our Hillsborough High School football game is this Thursday against Brentwood. Let's pack the stands in our best tropical wear. Thanks for watching. This is Myla, and I'll see you next week on the Borough News. Hey, 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 Burroughs! Do you have an idea for a fun segment on next week's show? If you do, let us know. Rhyming is so fun.